So I'm here with Kathy Bove, who is just yesterday finished finished class nine of sixty for her uh, knees and hips uh, non-surgical restoration. So I'm uh, just kind of checking in with you and seeing. Uh, so after nine classes uh, from this program, what uh, what have you experienced? Both like physically, but it, 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 you have worked with you long enough. It, it's definitely way beyond that. So. From when you started to even just uh, in just this program alone, the last nine classes, what have you experienced with your knees, your hips, anything else? Well, I guess I would have to start at the beginning. I'd, I'd have to start. Go ahead. At, <laughs> I'd have to start as to why I did this. Sure. Okay. Um, I think the biggest thing is that I recognized that I had a choice. I had a choice how I would move and feel. And I really thought about doing this for a very long time, months and months. I thought about, do I want to do it? Do I want to spend the money? But I just really realized that with the deficits that I had in my hips and my knees, that I, I really think that I, I needed it. It was like kind of like the next step to correct my lack of range of motion, my um, lack of flexibility, my coordination in some parts of my body. So I think the why is big. Yeah, and and uh, I had been recommended for a while because you had been class uh, regular classes for about twenty months, and you, as much as we've talked about how much progress you've seen in that, your physical progress and pain relief and mobility progress was really pretty much stalled. And, it uh, was. And I recognized a lot of things, and it was like you really need to do some right. one-on-one -on -one training, and, right. and and you were really questioning that for a little bit, but then you then you right. went ahead with that. Yeah, and and, and, and you know we talk about this a lot. It was, it was a big fear factor for me. To, to face this and to embrace it. And I guess where I'm at now, I think that I do embrace it. I think that I'm all in about it and I just re recognize that these classes are really gonna change my motion and my mobility. Yeah. And as much as I've been getting you, trying to get you to articulate, I'm gonna make it a little easier. So generally speaking, so uh, even uh, before you started doing one-on-one -on -one training, and before you started doing this program, generally speaking, how did you feel about your body, your knees, your movements, your hips, well, compared to how you feel now? I think I was really insecure about it, and I, that really showed my first couple of classes. I, I just was afraid to move. I knew that I couldn't, and it's embarrassing. It's just, it just felt very embarrassing to me to be, to, to be, to not be more coordinated than I was. And I, it's slow, you know, but I just think in what did you say, nine classes we've yeah. done. Um, I feel more um, agile. I feel I know that I'm performing better in boot camp. Yeah, there's an obvious uh, improvement in coordination, mm -hmm. balance, strength, right. range of motion. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, and again, you you know me that I don't just say that. It's right. it's very obvious. Yeah. Yeah, and and it's exciting. You know, it's really yeah. exciting to feel the change and see see the change, and then it's also exciting to see where we're going to be at the end of the 12 weeks. Yeah. And I would even, one of the things I was thinking about even more than that, so uh, we just talk about like some of the benefits you're getting out of that, but uh, and uh, if you elaborate on that, that'd be great. But even a bigger picture for yourself and anybody else thinking about it, I want you to think about the, the cost of uh, indecision, the cost of inaction. So, and you're just like, oh, I'm excited. I'm, ex you know, so even just uh, how did you think about movement and pain and your body and you just even in, honestly in life, Prior to doing this, how do you feel about your future versus how do you feel about now? I think, I think I was like many people my age. I was willing to settle. I think I was willing to settle, and with the lack of knowledge, I thought that it was normal. Yeah, and we, we get fed that all the time. Oh, just normal for your age. Yeah, you don't deal with it. So it's like okay, you know. But I don't take medicine, and I don't even take like ibuprofen and and things like that. But you know, I, I just feel like now I just see I'm only limited by my mind. So I I think that the possibilities are just I can just do so much more. Awesome. Uh, so real quick, I want to let everybody know and, and reinforce why I put this program together. So this 12 week program, 60 classes um, of small group training is to really uh, a couple of my coaches have definitely uh, Actually, I've probably heard it many, many times, but more importantly, recently, it got stuck in my head. What's the best thing you can do for somebody? 
what, you know, with your skills, with your knowledge, what is the best results you can get for somebody? And yes, I think our regular classes are great, and I think one-on-one's great, but really for the for the right person, for the right people, like this program to, and more thought behind that is like, okay, in 12 weeks it is designed to physically, neurologically, mentally get all that stuff and uh, habitualize it to really make it uh, the way you like. So it's not like, you, you know, you before, you've seen it before, hey, it's not a big wow that you forget about and um, it's a big wow that you then understand. Your body understands it, your nervous system understands it, you mentally understand it so you can keep that going on your own. Because it is, it's small baby steps, it's, it's little increments. I mean, when we sit there and we just joked about doing that, you know, dorsal flexion exercise, that's little. I mean, that's little in the whole scheme of things. It's, it's time consuming, but if you can do something that small, which most people wouldn't know how to do it on their own, and then get results and get rid of knee pain, that's pretty significant and understanding how it's all connected. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I ever understood how, you know, doing something like that could affect my knee, which affects my hip, which affects my elbow. I mean, you know, who I didn't know all that stuff. Yeah. So, you know, your expertise and guidance, which I really trust, is um, leading me down that path to be able to have full range of motion. All right.